Good morning, everybody. It's Nicola from the ACA. I'm playing around in Scratch today, uh, making a project for a friend because it's their birthday today. And unfortunately, I can't be with them to share it. So I've made a little project that hopefully puts a smile on their face. Let's have a look at what it does. And then we'll have a look at the code. I'll start by clicking the green flag. Pretty cool. So I was able to blow out the candles on my cake and get a tune and reward. Let's have a look at how it works. So this little button here will take me inside. Okay. It's quite a simple project. I think it would be achievable by year three and four students. The code is in two sections and all of the code is on the cake. So there's only one sprite in this project. The first part of the code is a sequence of instructions that runs from top to bottom, same every time. The first one is a bit of a setup step, so it switches the costume of the cake to the version with candles. Then we have some lines of text. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Happy birthday, time to blow out your candles and click the cake when you're ready. So obviously, if you remix the project, people can customise these into whatever they would like to say. The second part of the project is where the magic happens. So we start with an event block when the sprite is clicked. Now the reason I've done that is so that if you're in a noisy classroom or somewhere, everyone can quiet down before this part because you need to be quiet at the beginning for it to work. Um, we switch the costume back to the cape with candles. That's just in case you want to repeat this part a few times. And here is the key step, wait until the loudness is more than 60. So this block of code will tell your computer to switch on the microphone and listen to the volume around. Now, when that volume gets over a certain threshold and I've chosen 60, the cake will switch costume to the version with the candles blown out and you'll hear a tune. So let's look at just this part of code in action. I'll stop talking and then I'll blow. There we go. Now, if you want to know what the loudness is like in the room, you can click this tick box. So you can see that as I talk, my natural volume is registering around sort of 50 to 60. So if I made the volume here maybe 30, what you'd see would happen is that when I start talking, it will trigger. Now, if I made it 100, it might be too loud for it to trigger. So let's try again. Hard to make the candles blow out now. So you can have some fun trying that. Anyway, this is a very customizable project. I hope you enjoy um, using it and remix it. And if someone you know has a birthday coming up, maybe they'd like to get a scratch birthday card from you. See you later.